Okay, so as you've seen, we've got our fresh liveys. There's a couple of different ways to hook them up. First one I'm going to show is if you're slow trolling the slimy or live bait. Okay, so I'll get one of these out of the live well. It's quite simple. Going through the very point of the nose, not too far up. Bring it out the front, like that, and he's just going to swim behind. Now, when you get a take, obviously there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of meat there holding the hook in, so you've got to be not not a hard drag setting, otherwise your bait can get ripped off your hook. So it's actually quite often a good way to troll with a live bait to hold the if you're using an egg beater to hold it with the bail arm open or with a light drag setting. If you've got a bait runner style reel where you can actually free spool the bait back to the fish and then set the hook once you are fairly sure it's been eaten, then that's the go. Okay, if you're fishing big liveys under a float with a long trace for kingfish and stuff like that, one of the more effective ways to, to put the hook and better, better hook up ratio, on, on, only my opinion, is to go in front of the dorsal fin, put it just under the skin, pull it out, and that'll actually lay back. So a lot of fish, when they take a bait head first, it has the hook pointing backwards. So you have a good hook up ratio. You only want it just under the skin so that when you set the hook, it pulls out of the skin and isn't hindered by the bait. Okay, another common way to rig up a live bait like a yakka is to go straight, and it's very quick, straight under the dorsal fin, above the lateral line, pull the hook through, hang him over the side, and away he goes. Sometimes when you have trouble with the hook up ratio or your baits keep getting spat out by a fish, sometimes you need to go to a two hook rig. So with this rig here, all we do with the snood rig, and you can actually see that on the website, on the Fishing World website, how to do that particular rig as well, is we'll put one hook, middle of the back, just under the skin, like that. Lay that under your thumb. Put your other one through the nose. Now, it doesn't matter if you've got slack line between the two hooks. It actually, if you make these hooks too tight, that'll stop your bait from swimming and it'll end up killing your bait. So using a two hook rig will help you uh, with a better hook up ratio if you have trouble with your baits getting spat out and not hooking up. Ask any big fish specialist and they'll tell you that big live squid catch big fish. But you've got to rig them on strong hooks and uh, heavy leaders. Now this is fish like mulloway, kingfish, cobia, just about everything in the ocean, big fish in the ocean, each squid. Best way to hook them up, is get your live squid. Put one hook through the back of the, shirt, the carapace here, like that. Make sure that your hook's exposed. And the other one through the very point up here. Now you control him that way live, and he'll, he will stay alive for you. You can also free spool them down a burly trail, like that as well, but they'll stay alive for you like that. <laughs>